Okay, so this is uh, for people using Windows 8.1. I'm currently using Windows 8.1 and uh, I'm going onto the internet to download and install uh, Microsoft Office Starter Edition, which gives you Word and Excel, which shouldn't actually be compatible. So let me show you how to do it. First of all, I'm going to search the internet for Office Starter 2010. And it's in snap files, so I'm just going to put snap files in there as well. It should be at the top of the list. So, top one, snap files. Be careful where you click download here. Um, oh, it says it's going to start automatically. There we go. So it's downloading and it's starting automatically here. Okay. Now, we can't just go and run that. We need to run the patch. But before I do that, I'm going to go also and download the update. Uh, there's a link for... All, all of these files are in the, in the link in the dis video description uh, but therefore you've got this one uh, we've got the patch patcher which I'm gonna which is in the uh, description and I'm going to download this update as well so they're all ready to be installed it says it's downloading it's going around. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to start installing. So I've got my download files here. I'm just going to show those in a folder. And first of all, I'm going to open the patcher. And copy that out of there. Okay, so there's our patcher. Just double click on the patch. Are you sure? Yeah. Select the file to patch. Well, we're going to we're selecting the setup consumer. Okay. And I open that and I press start. Successfully patched. Done. Okay. So that means I can go ahead now and run let's run that as administrator. Sorry. Right click on it. run as administrator run anyway yes okay you do have to be online while this installs uh, the reason for that is it pulls the uh, files off the internet as you can see it says download the necessary files This can take a few minutes. Once we've done this, if you went to run it, it would say come up with a compatibility error. That's why we're downloading this Microsoft update. That's the click to run update. Okay, so we're going to run that as soon as this one finishes. Therefore, we won't have a compatibility um, error. But I'll go on and show you that anyway. So for the people who get that, then the update is all you need. Okay, 50%. It's like watching paint dry. Okay, 90%. Nearly there. Okay, setting up. That means it's installed pretty much. Okay, so I'm just going to go on and see if we can run that office. Excuse me. It's going into the wrong one. Love Windows 8. Right, let's see if we can get my all apps up. So if I try running it now, Word Starter, I'm going to get compatibility error, as we said. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this update. That's going to update the click and run applications that 
Microsoft Office 2010 Starter Edition uses. Um, something to bear in mind if you can't even get this far is that you can't run 64-bit Microsoft Office applications when this is installed because it's all 32-bit. You can't mix and match. Okay, so if you've got if your computer was pre-installed uh, with anything, then you don't you can't. Uh, you can't then go on and install this. Uninstall the uh, the stuff that you get with your computer first. Uh, okay, so it's asking me to do a reboot. It'll probably run anyway. I'm not going to do the reboot right now. Let's see if it runs. Yeah, does need a reboot. Let's reboot. Restart in. Shouldn't take long. This is a new computer. So all you 8.1 users out there, I mean, I don't think it's made much of a difference. My advice is still to use um, like a classic start button where you've got a start menu. I find it so much easier. I don't, unless you've got a touch screen uh, laptop, I don't think Windows 8 really makes much sense. It doesn't seem logical to myself. One of my future videos is going to be how to modify Windows 8 um, or how to set it up so that it automatically logs in, uh, you know, so you don't have to put any password. If you've got password set up and it's all on live, uh, you know, so it just automatically logs in. So I'll be going through that in a future video, so please subscribe. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick search for Word. This time it's going to run. It shouldn't be this hard. <laughs> Come on, Windows 8. Looking, looking, looking. Office starter. Let's just do word. Word. Okay. There we go. It's starting. Okay, excellent. And that's how you install Microsoft Starter Edition. It gives you Word and Excel for free. It's not piracy. Uh, you know, you, it's a complete licensed version. It's, it's a cut down version of Word. Uh, it was made by Microsoft uh, for offer, um, sorry for Windows Seven uh, to replace uh, Works Microsoft Works that used to go out with computers. So it came free with computers. Um, it's been modified now to run with Windows 8.1. It used to run fine on Windows 8. Uh, so please share the video, uh, like it, any comments leave below. I'll see if I can answer any of your questions. Thanks.